Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Aman Shah, and I'm delighted to be here with Dr. Heather MacArthur. Welcome, Dr. MacArthur. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So we're here at uh, ESMO, and you are presenting a trial on immunotherapy for new adjuvant treatment of HER2-positive breast cancer. Uh, is there data before, uh, before this on the eff efficacy of immunotherapy in HER2-positive cancers? So there's really incredible preclinical data demonstrating tremendous synergy between HER2-directed therapy and immune therapy. And we do know from the Panacea study that the combination of trastuzumab and uh, pembrolizumab in a trastuzumab-resistant population, so in patients who have already been exposed to and progressed on trastuzumab, mm -hmm. that they have responses to the combination of pembrolizumab and trastuzumab. So we know that it can be effective and we know that it is synergi synergistic with trastuzumab. What we've learned from other settings, including the triple negative setting, is that when we apply these strategies earlier in the course of the natural history of the disease, that we tend to get more robust responses. And that's why we're looking at it in the neoadjuvant setting. Uh, uh, that makes sense. And so, and, and what did you see in the neoadjuvant setting? So we're presenting an ongoing trial, so the study is still open to accrual. And in this study, it's an investigator-initiated trial. It's a neoadjuvant study for women or men with stage two or three HER2-positive breast cancer, so newly diagnosed HER2-positive breast cancer, and they're being randomized to one of three arms, either paclitaxel with trastuzumab and pertuzumab. So taxane with trastuzumab, pertuzumab, that was the basis of the US FDA approval mm -hmm. after the Neosphere data was presented. So that's the control arm. The second arm has that same regimen with immune therapy in the form of pembrolizumab. And the third arm asks what I think is a particularly interesting question is um, if you apply immune therapy with HER2-directed therapy in the form of trastuzumab, is it so synergistic that you no longer need dual HER2 blockade? So that third arm will have the taxane chemotherapy, trastuzumab, and pembrolizumab and we will be okay. interested to see if it performs as well as the dual HER2 blockade arm. And, and, and there is no arm where you have dual HER2 blockade plus a, a immunotherapy. That might be overkill. Is that uh, Not without is? chemotherapy. So okay. the second arm has taxane with trastuzumab and pertuzumab, so dual HER2 blockade plus pembrolizumab. Okay. And the third arm asks the question, do you really need that dual HER2 blockade right. in the setting of synergy between trastuzumab and pembrolizumab? Okay. And are you uh, looking at tumor shrinkage? What are your outcome measures? The primary endpoint is pathologic complete response. So complete okay. absence of cancer, both within the breast and the lymph nodes. Okay. And uh, do you have any data to share on this as yet? Uh, it's presented as a trial in progress. So okay. we're not able to present any data at this time. We expect that it will enroll at three different sites, at my site, Cedar sinai in Los Angeles, at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, and at Providence Hospital in Portland, Oregon. And it's a rather large study for an investigator-initiated trial. It's 174 patients will be enrolled across the three sites. And I anticipate that enrollment will occur over approximately three years. Well, you must come back and tell us about it when you have Absolutely. the data. We look forward to it. Thank, Thank you. you.